Another important aspect of laying out is the group lock and pin features. So let's take a look at these. These are new features in 5.0 which make it really easy to lay stuff out and manage and control your layouts as you go along. So if I select all these buttons by dragging around them, so I'll click and drag on the canvas around them and that'll select them all, I can group them by going to Object, Group. And what that does is it creates one object, essentially, out of the whole uh, set of objects. So now if I click on it, I can move these around as a group. I can align them as a group, I can arrange them as a group, and it's really convenient. So that's the group feature. If I go to Object Ungroup with them selected, it ungroups them. The group feature is handy for things like button bars, yes, but it's also handy for arranging your layout things into groups. For example, if that logo was not part of the background, I would most certainly group it with the buttons so that as I was going through and laying things out and experimenting uh, with pixels and stuff, the, uh, the logo object and the button objects would stay aligned to each other horizontally. So you can create groups out of anything on your page and you can create actually very creative things as you go along. For example, here if I was laying this out from scratch, I would create a group out of the buttons first align them to the logo, then I would ungroup the buttons and group them with the logo, then I would align that relative to the screen, then I would ungroup them all and make it one big group out of everything and align that to the stage. So that's just my workflow and I find it comes in handy. But anyway, that's the group and ungroup feature. So experiment with that a bit and I think you'll get used to it right away. If you're using Flash or Photoshop, you'll be already pretty well familiar with uh, the concept of linking or grouping. So let's move on to the next thing here which would be the lock feature. Lock and pin are both somewhat similar but the lock feature will not allow you to edit an object's properties or actions whereas the pin feature will. So if we were to lock for example all our buttons down by selecting them all and going to object lock selection or all objects in this case we'll, we'll choose selection um, we wouldn't be able to select them anymore. As you see here, I can click on them all I want and nothing happens. If I open up my Properties Inspector and I'll pin it, you can see it's not possible for me to select the buttons or edit them or do anything. So I'm going to go to Object, Unlock All, so that they're not locked anymore, and show you the difference about pinning. With pinning, if we select our buttons and go to Object, Pin, and again I'll select the selection one, but again we could have just chosen all objects in this instance. Um, you'll see there's a little red bounding box around each of the objects and although you're not able to move them, so if you click them you can select them, but you can't move them. Although you're not able to move them, so this basically protects your layout. Your layout is safe, you won't accidentally move anything and it's also a great way to collaborate. If you have to collaborate with somebody else on a project you can do the layout for them and pin all the objects and send them and they can still select them and click on them to set the properties and so basically if you're collaborating with somebody on a project where you're the designer and they're the programmer this is an ideal way to set out a layout and still leave it editable for them so these are really powerful features group lock and pin and as you go along you'll find that it's very convenient to group your items together to get them all aligned and laid out properly and then extremely handy to pin them in place so that you can protect your layout but still edit the um, actions and properties of each of these things. Um, and of course when you're done and everything is finalized, you would want to go through and lock everything in place. That way you're not going to accidentally tweak something or um, if you're collaborating with somebody, they're not going to accidentally move something around. So that's group, lock, and pin. Let's move ahead to the next lesson.